treated as a matter which is very important and urgent. And the roadside declarations which are being made by, the, uh, by Mr. Rigad are very unfair, are belittling and undermining the sovereignty of Kenyan citizens. And I want to remind him that he should stop such, such roadside declarations because this nation is not about him as regards. Number one, is very unwashed, is very agricultural, is very uncouth, is very unkempt, and he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. That is one of the maxims of equity. And number two, there's a principle called in law, volenti non fit injuria, that they are contributing to their own injury by make, making these inflammatory remarks that is annoying, that does not go well with the spirits of Kenyans, that's causing a lot of consternation and discombobulation of spirits among Kenyans. And therefore, holding public barazas and or holding town hall meetings only satisfies one of the requirements of the principles of war that negotiate as you negotiate you advance so as we negotiate we advance we will not abandon the talks first because the talks are already starting we want to see what they bring in the talks should the talks fail then we have an alternative which is the streets the alternative are the people let the people decide for themselves what is good for them <coughs> to answer that is very simple we have issues that we raised issues of concern issues that affect the common monarchy number one